So these are all the components of the ASU. So the ASU body here <coughs> contains the splice applicator. We haven't done a lot with this. We've just threaded the packet material through it. Part of the training course is to remove all of this here. If we remove all of this, then we don't know, I, it takes one day to pull all this apart, put it all back in, because I've, I've lost those, yeah, those days. But the reason we pull it apart is to replace the Teflon tape. Okay. Okay, and that's done every, every 2,000 hours or something. It's normally done by TPMS. If you follow the book, it's easy. It's, it's, it's very easy. Um, there's a couple of measurements you have to make for the inductor. You just follow the book, what the book says to make the measurement, and then you bolt it all back together and put it in. But nothing moves, it's just stationary. No. Okay, so you can't fuck the setting up. Mm. Just take it out, replace the, replace the tape, and put it back in. But it takes quite a while to do it. Mm. The strip magazine, which you all played around with, and you, yesterday you found out that if it's not prepared and it asks for a strip to be spliced, then the machine stops. And then you put a new bobbin on, and then we put a new bobbin on, close all the doors, reset the lamp, and then we splice. So here, not too difficult. The thing with the transducer here that, the, that this sits on, if this fails, you have to put it into the correct position. I'll show you down on the machine. There's a, on the back of this transducer, there is a line marked, engraved on the transducer. And it must sit at a certain position to the clamp. And this, this is 10 mil. I'll show you on the machine where this is. Mm. So if you, this, this is the only setup you have to do with this if you replace the transducer. It's the right position. The reason for the right position is when we do the splice, it knows how far it is from here to the packaging material when the splice goes on and then the machine knows where to eject the, the, the package with the splice in it. Hmm. Okay. So if you don't set this transducer up correctly, then the splice will not be ejected in the right It will eject, it will eject the splice, but it will not eject it in the right position. Okay. Then we played around with the splicing head earlier this week, uh, last week. Last mm. week, we pulled all this apart, and you've seen the, the pressure, the, the pressure dolly, the cutting dolly, the, the, the cylinders, the heating rail, and so on. We played around with the material holder here, how to set up the packing material in the material holder, and then what we will do after we do the theory we'll go down and we will make some splices here. And I will destroy some settings and you have to fix it, okay? The bobbins to hold the packing material reel and the bobbin brake here. So the purpose of the brake is to slow down the material and when the machine stops. So there's a lot of weight here turning. Mm -hmm. When the machine stops, we don't want this to keep, to keep running on, okay? And it's actually its main air pressure brake on, um, and it's, I think it's one bar off the mains air pressure brake on. The pneumatic panel, so the ASU has its own pneumatic panel, so before the air goes into the service unit um, regulator, it is tapped off to the ASU, has its own air, okay? So, the, the pneumatic panel is separate to the service unit pneumatic panel. It has its own here. And on the side we have an electrical cabinet with some I.O. units, transformer, and so on. But I made a little note here. Didn't like that. By voltage. So in here <laughs> we have the I.O. cards. Uh, we have the EDP expansion power distribution. Uh, just a fucking transformer. Yeah. Um, so, as I said, it's a power supply. And the FPD field power distribution. This here 
when you open the doors, you hear, you drop all the air off. So that's mm. what this is here, this field power distribution, or dropping, dumping the air off mm. the machine when you open the doors. Okay? So, what do we do in the ASU? We have to check sideways movement. We have to set up the pack and kill to make sure the sideways movement is correct. We have to check overlap mm -hmm. the splice, that it is correct. And we have to check Seven. ceiling parallelism, that it is correct. And we have to check repeat match, that it is correct. This is done by T-Pop. Yeah. The rest is mechanical setting. Okay, and we will go through these down on the machine. Right. Not yet. I'm going to stay awake a bit longer. <laughs> All right. So you can do. I'm going down, James. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll try and make some fun of it. Okay. Just keep you awake, man. So this is the magazine and the drive rollers and the for the ASU. So this drive roller here, AC motor. Okay, AC motor controlled by inverter. Okay, so this motor here is to is the motor for the magazine, magazine fill roller. This one, magazine fill roller. This roller here, AC motor by inverter. This is the loop feed motor. This one to keep the loop fed here. This one. The first motor. This one. Yeah. Magazine. 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 Magazine fill. Magazine fill roller. Uh, bending roller. Then we have another motor in the back here. This is for sideways movement. So it's done by servo. In the back. To come across. Yep. And <coughs> this here is an incremental angle encoder. That's all I'll say about that for now because it, it, we need to explain how this works. But basically, it's just to let the machine know where we splice, okay? Where we splice. So, yeah, well, I'll talk about this. Um, the brakes to lock and maintain tension on the web during production. So these are the, the two brakes to hold the back magazine down. Bobbin brakes and magazine full sensor here. Design pulse from the photo eyes. It goes to the TMCC card. Okay. This is all the control circuit. HG motor control. Okay. The components we run through. Number one is our ASU loop encoder. <coughs> Here. I'll talk more about this later. ASU loop encoder. Number two, the driven bending roller. We drive this with the counter roller on one side, we drive this, so the pressure between the counter roller and the driven bending roller fills the loop of the ASU here. Number four, web tension cylinder. This is the one we pulled out and I showed you it had the, it was shaped like this. Yeah. Here, and it had two little indents, remember? Remember? Yeah. 
Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is a web tension cylinder. This one here. Number five is a dolly. You took it out, if you remember. Number six is a pressure rail that the dolly sits on. Number seven is the knife. If you remember, we took this out. Number eight is the knife cylinder, cutting cylinder. Number nine, locking cylinder. This is the one when you press the button all the time, click, 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 okay? Hold for five seconds, mm -hmm. brake comes off. Number 10 is the heating unit itself. Remember, we took all this off. Number 11, the pneumatic hose. Remember, red in color, we took this off, if you remember. Number 12, the ceiling plate itself, which contains the heating bar itself, okay? Number 14 is a sensor for packing material finished. This is the one that initiates, initiates the splice. When we run out of material, this is the initiation of the splice sequence. Number 15 is a brake roller. Number 16 is a, a bobbin brake cylinder. Number 17 is packing material. 18 is a reflector. Number 19 is the web stop. Number 19 goes yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah, web stop cylinder. Here. Oh, what's that? Comment. I'm not telling you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so when we stop the machine, we activate this and push the material away from the heater so it doesn't burn on. Okay, web stop cylinder. Stop the packing tool coming in contact with the heater during production. During production. Okay. Splice sequence. So where the machine is running, 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 everything's happy. The road is running, loops full, loops full. Then we run out of material. Initiate. Splice sequence. Run out of material. Splice sequence initiated. Okay? Mm -hmm. Please don't go to sleep during this, otherwise you'll miss it. Live sequence initiated. Web tension roll, web tension on. Okay? Web tension on. Mm. Here. Web tension on. Nothing else has moved. Web tension on. <coughs> but now, at this point, splice sequence initiated. Now the bending roller here. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay? It goes from normal speed to slow speed, to slow earth speed. Move at slow speed to find barcode to get length splice position. Also runs like this during manual splicing. Okay? Alright? So far, so good. Initiate splice. Web tension on. Slow down motor. Okay? Mm -hmm. It gets more complicated, believe me. So this is what happens. This is what happens. We initiate the splice here. So the splice is initiated at this point. Run out of paint material. Initiate splice sequence. Started. Okay? So, when this is rotating here, this roller here is actually 435, 439 millimeters in diameter. And in diameter, it's actually, it's, 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 it's actually graduated 2,000 steps. This is calibrated to the TNCC cut, to, to, the, to the PLC. Okay, the PLC, as the machine has this information, has this diameter and it has here, from zero to 360, 2,000 steps. So this is always running when the machine's running. The pack material is always going over this when it's running. The barcode is being read down here by the photo eyes. 
here. Registration mark, registration mark, registration mark, registration mark, registration mark. Being read by the photo arts here. But when this is rotating here, this is virtual barcode from zero to 2,000 steps. Virtual barcode, virtual barcode, virtual barcode, virtual barcode, virtual barcode, okay? So when this is reading 2,000 steps from zero, 2,000 steps, 2,000 steps, 2, back to zero. 2,000 steps, 2,000 steps, back to zero. 2,000 steps, back to zero. The photo eyes, reading the pack, reading the registration mark, is the repeat length. From one start of repeat length to the next, back. To the next, back. To the next, back. So the repeat length never changes. The virtual barcode never changes. It's always the same. Virtual barcode is always the same. Repeat length is always the same. So virtual barcode is um, calculated, um, calibrated to normal barcode. Real barcode, virtual barcode. Okay? Now the machine, when we activate splice, we don't, the machine doesn't know where the real barcode is. It doesn't know. But when we splice, it knows where the virtual barcode is. So we could splice here at this point. So this could be, say, 500 steps. Okay? So we've, we've initiated the splice somewhere here in between real barcode to the next barcode. So we've initiated the splice somewhere here. So now the machine knows where the splice happened in the virtual barcode. You with you carry on, mate. Oh, right. <laughs> the machine knows where it's spliced. Repeat length. Repeat length repeat never changes. We never change it. Virtual, virtual, virtual repeat yeah. length never changes. From here to here is 200 steps, 360 degrees, 200 steps. 300. So here we've made a splice, bang. This is where the splice happened here, okay? But now we need to have the correct repeat length from one registration mark to the other registration mark. Now, the machine knows if I spliced here at step 500. I have to travel how many more steps? 1,500 more steps. Okay? To get back to zero. I know you've spliced here. Machine has no idea where, where this is, where actual is. Has no idea. But it knows where virtual is. So then, the machine, knowing that we have to travel 1,500 more steps, the machine will then come to here, splice activated, material splice act initiated. Here, this is by the old reel. Then I start to I go here, okay, here is my 2,000 steps, here is my reel barcode, here. Now, how far do I have to travel to get to here? Okay? 1,500 steps. When I get to here, this 1,500 steps, the motor stops. Okay? The motor stops. Mm -hmm. This is stop position bound. Cut! The old piece off. Remember the old piece from a cut off? It's only about this long. So, I'm, I'm trying to get Grant upside here. <laughs> Just think about it. the machine doesn't know where the real barcode is on the paper. Doesn't know. Haven't got no fucking idea where it is. Okay, but when we initiate the splice, it knows where the virtual in the program. It knows somewhere between zero and two thousand. Now, how far do I have to travel to get back to two thousand? Up ah, fifteen hundred steps. So, 
Now this travels slowly, 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 here. Bang. Bound it. Bound the virtual barcode, which is equal to the real barcode. It's equal. Bang, stop. Make a cut. So, in layman's terms, in very layman's terms, we make a cut. The machine doesn't know, uh, the machine doesn't know where the real barcode is. Then the machine says, how far do you want me to travel to get the real barcode? Ah, real barcode, same as virtual barcode. I know where virtual barcode is, I've got to travel 1,500 more steps, then I'll stop. Okay? Bang, then cut. So this is what this incremental angle encoder does. It finds the stop position to cut. When you match virtual barcode with real barcode. So we know this is always resetting back to zero. This always resets back to zero. Every time we read a registration mark, it goes back to zero. Mm. If we do something between, <coughs> between going back to zero, hey, wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, I'm looking for a splice. I'll find the next barcode. Found it. Cut. Okay. Too heavy. Uh, I'm reset to zero. Every time, virtual barcode. Here. Yeah. This is high motor speed. So this is normal web speed traveling here. Normal web speed, normal web speed, normal web speed. Okay? Then here, at this point, we calculate the distance from actual barcode to virtual barcode to find the stop position. Here, initiating. I need to know how far from here to here. Okay? How far? 1,500 steps. Then, here, we slow down the motor to look for the right spot. Bang, found it. Stop. And then we make a cut. All right? So you okay with that? Yeah. yeah. Well, you have to be, because we're moving on. <laughs> so once we've done this here, we then go to here. Stop position found. Stop position found. Virtual barcode, virtual barcode, virtual barcode. Real barcode, real barcode. Bang, stop. Found the right result. Found the right spot. Now, please, make a cut here. So tension cylinder on, paper lock cylinder on, knife activated, pressure activated. We make a cut here. Then we go to the next. Okay, so cut, cut, cut. Cut material. Next one. Yeah. Now we cylinder retraction. So here we've cut. Now we move all the cylinders out. But the paper material holder, which you've already set up on the other on the other reel, mm -hmm. is already locked in position. And the tension cylinder is still on. Because once we've cut, we need to hold this in position now. So the next step, sideways. Now we move to the prepared one that you've already prepared. Here. So now we move from here to here, to the new roller. What have we done here? And um, so, tension lock on and paper lock on. Next one. Now we seal. Okay, knife is retracted, knife again, and now we put air on here to the heating unit to make a seal. So when we make the seal, from here to here, to here, to here, to here, this is the correct repeat length. If we don't find stop position, by the virtual barcode. This could be anywhere. That's why we have the virtual barcode, to make the repeat length the same. And you can control this repeat length by the teapot.
Then the next thing, everything released, and the bending molar will now start slowly. To start slow, because we do we do not want to destroy this seal here now. So we start slow. Motor crap. Yeah, I already said that. Uh, but, but actually in literature they actually call they don't call this slow speed. They call this unsticking. Start slow speed to unstick this from the heater. They actually call it unsticking, not slow speed. Unsticking speed. So they run that slow speed right through to the jaws until that piece is out. No, only for for about it's two, two seconds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very short. Yeah. Because remember, back here, while all this is going on, this is going. Okay. Up. Yeah. This one doesn't move, but this one's going up. So as this one's going up, or the splice is going on, so the splice is finished, now we want to run this motor here at high speed. We want to run this one at high speed to fill this back up again. Okay? And the last one is web stop. In web stop, we activate this little cylinder here to push the material away from the heater. Remember we can stop up to 20 minutes before we inch again. So we have this web stop here to push the material away from the heater. The heater is on, it's constant heat all the time. It doesn't turn on or off. From the time we do preparation to the time we stop production, this heater is always on. So we have this little stop cylinder here to push it away. Okay. That's right, because then it takes like 20 minutes to get rid of the reel or something, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is an ASU spice sequence diagram, but the one here that's important is this one. What point this? Here. ASU, ASU, register mark. This is on the packaging material. Barcode, read. Barcode, read. Barcode, read. Last one, read. Finding stop position. To find stop position, we look for virtual. Virtual barcode. Okay? Once we find virtual barcode position, stop position bound. Here. But this is also offset from the tip up. But don't worry about offset. Well, do worry about it, but as far as the explanation is concerned, don't worry about it. offset. Stop position found. Cut packaging material here. Cylinder retraction here. Sideways movement here. Sealing splice completed. Then we go to back to high speed. Back out, back out, back out, back out. So from this position here to this position here, all the web is stopped. So during the stop time, finding stop position, stop position found, stop position found, cut, then retraction, then, then we have retraction, sideways movement, then sealing, so everything is still, everything is still stops, still stops, still stops, still stop, then packaging material unsticking, Low speed, slow speed, slow speed, then high speed, high speed, high speed, then read the registration mark. Okay? You think you're confused before? <laughs> <laughs> this is very simple. Okay. <laughs> this is very simple. Blue and yellow alarms from the photo cell. The photo cell is reading the registration mark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Virtual register photo cell. Every 2,000 steps, every 439 millimeters, we have virtual barcode. 
I just said that to confuse you. But I remember the 439 millimeters. Well, every 439 millimeters, virtual barcode. Not a 400, but virtual barcode, virtual barcode. So virtual barcode, virtual, these are all virtual barcodes, okay? Coming from the incremental angle encoder and the, 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 the roller, okay? Actual readings of the mark, of actual reading <laughs> from the packing material. Here, 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 oh, we missed one. I don't know why we missed this barcode. Maybe there's dirt on the photo eye, the dirt on the sensor. Oh, I've, I've read the next one. Okay, I've, oh, I've lost another one. Then it continues, continues, continues. Oh, oh, I've lost another one. Where's this registration mark going? But the whole time, we're still reading virtual. There's nothing wrong with virtual. Always still reading virtual, virtual. Two down a step, zero. Two down a step, zero. Two down a step, zero. Then, oh, shit, I've lost two. If we lose one, two, three, four, five, six in a period of... 50 interval readings, we have yellow alarm. So if we miss actual in 50 readings, so 1 to 50 readings, we lose 6, we have yellow alarm. Okay? While if we lose one, then we lose the next one, it will go to blue alarm. Okay? I lost one. Oh, I lost another one. Blue alarm. Warning. Blue alarm warning. If the blue alarm stays on from the second one to the end of 50, blue alarm turns to yellow. If we don't see this one, this will not be yellow alarm. The blue alarm will reset back. It will go away. Okay? So six in 50 readings, the second one will create the blue alarm. If we continue to lose another five, we go to yellow alarm. Okay, and I just made a note here, resets back every, after, after the 51st one, it will reset back. Okay. Number of consecutive correct readings. <coughs> yes, we have a Correct reading here. Ah, oh, we missed one. Now we have correct, correct, correct. Ah, oh, we missed another one. Correct, correct, correct. Now oh, we missed two. Correct, correct, correct. More than six in 50 reading. Yellow alarm. The next one. Blue yellow alarm encoder. This is now virtual. If we lose virtual barcode, six consecutive. Yellow alarm, straight away. Six consecutive, not six in 50. Mm -hmm. Six consecutive. Mm -hmm. But if we lose the first one, it doesn't worry about it. It blew alarm on the second one. If we lose the, the next four, then blue alarm turns to yellow. This is virtual. This is actual. Okay, this one here, again, virtual, actual. Photocell versus encoder. So I made a little note here to say encoder barcode coming late. Encoder barcode. So this is actual, 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 actual. Barcode, this one here, coming late. 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 In other words, what's this saying? We have fucking slip. Okay? The virtual is not happening at the same time as the actual. There is something wrong with the bending roller or the counter roller. The pack material is slipping. So instead of 200 steps, it's, it says, I want 200 steps, but actually I'm slipping back and I'm not, the barcode's coming late. So the barcode should be here at 200 steps, but it's here at 200 mm -hmm. steps. So it's coming late. Same thing again, one, two, three, four, five, six. In 50, we get one, two, three, four, five, six in 50. Blue alarm for the first, for the second one. Then if we continue another five, blue alarm turns to yellow, machine stop, okay? So this is slip, this one. 
reducing number of accumulated faults. Virtual axis, actual axis, here. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Just give me the shit. Reducing number of accumulated faults. Accumulated faults. Here. One, two, three. Bang. So this is continually accumulated faults. So we accumulate faults. In, if we accumulate, and accumulate, and then accumulate, after three, we get stop. Okay. So this here is saying reset after two times. So accumulate. We haven't reached six, but we're accumulating. When we're accumulating, the blue alarm is there. But because we haven't accumulated more than six, then blue alarm will reset back to go away, okay? So you have to accumulate more than six. If you accumulate three, it doesn't care. Okay? Single encoder is to detect the movement of the package when pulling the packing material by hand. Because when you're pulling by hand, we need to know how much power to put through the packing material. After daily care, because when you go after Preparation after daily care, you're pulling from the top. Remember? Prepara preparation after weekly care, this doesn't count. The preparation after daily care, when you're pulling paper material from the top of the septic chamber, you're applying the strip. So it needs to know how much power to go to the paper material. All right? And also, when we have a splice, we do the splice here, and then when the splice comes to here, this also knows where the splice is, and we apply more power to where the splice is. Okay. So this the one what we were going to pull off on the machine was, was the red one. But in order to pull the red one off, you've got to pull all the block off. You're going to pull all this off. You're pull all this off. You're going to pull all this off. So to remove the red one, you've got to dismantle it, basically. So we don't have time for them. Um, VMN here, variable matching network. We have have VMN here because the material is moving. So we need to control the phase angle by VMN. Okay, this controls the phase angle and how much power we're putting to here by the VMN. Okay. And what have we done here? Oh yeah, done. On the transducer, it sits in here, has a little mark here. And I'll show you this on the machine when you have, if you have to replace. So when it's at its bottom, the transducer will read 10 volts. When it's at its top, the transducer will read 0 volts. We have to know where the splice is to eject. Okay. I've made a note here. Magazine transducer 0 to 9. I'll just set that again. So, splicing sequence. This is what you set up the other day. So, consumed strip. Prepared strip. In the strip holder, here we have the knife, here we have a heater, here we have the knife. Cylinder and air blast here. Material support stop for when we come in and sensor to detect that the preparation is on. Next step. Boom! On. Prepared strip spikes, old strip spikes, power on, seal, power on, cut, power on, cut, air cylinder on for pressure. Comment, new bobbin, oh, fantastic, huh? <laughs> Okay, splice series next, off. 
When we turn off, we give a shot of air here to the strip to cool it. But the bobbin goes in reverse. So we splice happened here, but now this goes in reverse. I think you said it the other day. I think going backwards. So then it goes in reverse. Then it will then go normal. Yeah. It goes in reverse for cooling. And then off and then take out the splices here and then continue. Splice will feed. No big deal. Done. Done. web diverges not more than distance C here in one meter from the splice to here one meter the aid of a straight edge a straight edge which is distance C two times directly after the splice and one meter from the splice so it's taken field shown and it doesn't want to take it there right new painting material four all packing material, five. So, the hold, do the spliced area, and for one meter, here, we measure here, up to one meter.
Is that how I showed you? You take it away. And then you move it in. Because if you fuck this up, your, what you're setting up here will determine the result here. Okay? Heavy? Yeah. Ah! You must hold the material here. Bend. With this hand. Here. In one movement. Do not let the hold the material. Hit the fucking hand off. Do not let the material sit like this. Hold the material down like this. Thank you. Okay. Now return. Return the blade. Return the blade. Okay. Check alignment. Check. You and your fucking video. Actor. <laughs> more, more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Guys, don't know what we should have done. Horse manual, nice. Horse. Horse manual. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The lights not running yet. Huh? You have to do here. Press here. Press. Press.
This is old. With old is consumed. So this is the one. That's, this one here. Okay. This is the one prepared. If I look at this, this needs to go a bee stick this way. You move here. You move the whole lot. Okay. Uh, that does it. Whole yeah. Yep. Moves everything. So that is for sideways movement. This way. You move here and here, and you move sideways. This for parallelism. Yep. This for sideways movement. Okay. Yep. Yep. So that's two. Next, you need to measure overlap. Here, measure this. Ready? I ready. I ready. From the edge to here. <laughs> 15 mil. Okay, what's the book say? You gonna find the radio fucking manual, right? We're not on the right pace. Don't 
speed of change, yep. Alignment, no. High mm -hmm. speed, uh, check, belt, key turn, overhaul, linear bushing, in gear, no. We're going to have to go back to, what's it called? Overhaul. Okay, right back here. Over there. Maybe. Okay. How do we find the splicing device? Overlapping. Okay. Got it. What's it called? What's the overlap called? Where were you? We were way back here for me. Yeah. Let me see. 16.5 plus or minus 0.5, so we're still a mil out because I measured 15 mil. Where's your paper? Check again. Oh, they're measuring the long way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 16. 16? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Now, where do I adjust? Here. Get up! Just here. In here. Okay? So you just this there, there, height. There. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. So yeah. you just here. A little locking screw. Here. Yeah. So you have 16 mil. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> just here. Okay? Potong, potong, potong. Break off. Break off.
see how quick I did? Hey. Botong, botong, cut, cut. I gave you two choices, me. <laughs> hey, Alan. Yeah. Is there a way you can skip production and go straight to venting? Is there a way what? Can you skip production and go straight to venting? Yeah. What, what do you want to do? Look at it. Look at it. On the flex. Is that the way? The way you want to go venting. Go venting. Go venting. Go venting. Go venting. Go venting. Signal to sterilization. Ah, the long Step down as you can see, it's a signal to the SLR. Yes, it's a step down to zero. It's a winting, it's not a winting. Step down to zero, it's a step down. Then, it's a long one. It's a loose alarm. Okay, inch. Prepare. Prepare for the battle. <laughs> Thank you. 
with my understanding on the email below. You are not able to support all the stuff. The door, hold the arms close. Hold the arms close. <laughs> Potong, potong, cut, cut, cut. Not there. Potong, potong. Jump, jump, jump. Clearly, I'm junior. You should have two splices here somewhere. Yeah, this one. Yep. Okay. Okay. Actual now. Splicing those packets, repeat lane of set setting. Thank <laughs> you. 
You can change up to how much? 30, plus or minus 30. I'll have to send it at 25. This is your manual splice out of design. Mm -hmm. You have to select manual splice. That's what we had to do. Here. To do yeah. it. Oh. Then you have to go to here and splice. Yeah. You cannot, you only select here. You cannot do it here. Yeah. You select manual splice out of design here. Okay. Then you go to here. Right. So you can splice. Prepare here. Yep. Prepare here. Okay. And then do a manual splice out of design. Prepare here. 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 Patong, patong, gang, gang, patong, patong. Tip, 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 tip. Tip, 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 tip. Kasi tip, kasi tip. Patong, patong, cat, cat. 